What's up everybody? So in this video we're going to be finding out which is the best all-purpose cleaner. But first I'll put the kettle on. Welcome back to Hotchkiss Performance. Okay so I've been really excited to finally release this video as it has took quite a bit of time. We are going to be discussing which is the best all-purpose cleaner from a range of brands. So first we will just run through the candidates in this test. First up we have AutoSmart G101. Next up we have Built Hammer Surfex HD. G Technic W2. G Technic W5. Crystal Clean Detail A Clean. And the final candidate, Koch Chemi Green Star. So those are the candidates that we will be testing in this video. And to start off, we will compare the price. Now what I did was get a price for one litre of product and five litres of product. And then I just simply worked out an average so we could come up with a, you know, the cheapest to the most expensive. Starting with the cheapest is Koch Chemi Green Star. And then we have Built Hamber Surfex HD. Then AutoSmart G101. G Technic W5. Crystal Clean Detail A Clean. And the most expensive of the bunch is G Technic W2. To prepare for this test, I ensured that all products were placed in the exact same bottles and the exact same trigger sprayers. So this ensured that product usage from the triggers were more accurate. When it came to diluting the products, I used deionized water. This was to ensure that the water harness that we have in this area didn't affect how any of the products performed or how they kind of foamed up or anything like that. So, you know, I wanted to get as close as kind of lab test, if you like, as possible. Okay, so the first test we did was using these products neat to clean tires. Now, these particular tyres hadn't been cleaned for around six weeks. I also, in that time, was applying a silicon-based dressing to the tyres. So, you know, there was quite a lot of build-up of general road grime and uh, old dressing. So, on the first test, what we did was 15 pulls of the trigger sprayer with a one-minute dwell time. Uh, and then we rinsed it to see which broke down the most grime with no agitation. We rinsed and dried the tyres to ensure any surface water wasn't hiding the results. The next test we did on the tyres was again 15 pulls of the trigger sprayer with a 1 minute dwell time. We also used 5 pulls of the trigger sprayer onto the tyre cleaning brush that we would be using in this experiment. 30 seconds agitation, rinsed and dried to ensure surface water wasn't hiding results. The brush was always rinsed out between products to ensure no cross contamination. The third and final test on the tyres was again 15 pulls of the trigger sprayer with 5 on the brush and just straight 30 seconds agitation rinsed and dried again to ensure surface water wasn't hiding the results. Okay, so the results of just the tyre degreasing capabilities first. So in third place we had G Technic W5. In joint second, because I really couldn't choose between these two, um, it was just too, you know, too close to determine a clear second place was crystal clean detail a clean and also g technic w2 so those were joint second and the winner which i thought with the test that i carried out degreased the tires the best was 
Built Hammer Surfex HD. Okay, so I just want to run through a few notes that I have jotted down. We will come back to these later. Um, but the Koch Kemi Green Star, G Technic W2, and also Surfex HD didn't actually have much kind of foaming capability. Um, very much kind of suds died off really quickly um, after agitating. It's almost like they did like almost soak into all the the, the dirt and the grease on the tyre. Um, now I understand that suds don't equal cleaning power, but we'll come back to that later in the video. Okay, so moving on to the second test that we did. Uh, this was different types of soiling on a carpet. Uh, it was all left to dry and stain. These included grass and mud, a strong coffee mixture, food, which was chocolate milkshake and ketchup, of course, has to be Heinz, makeup, grease and oil, and polish. Each soiled patch received three millimeters of product uh, with a one minute dwell time and a 20 seconds agitation then five strokes of the wet vac to suck up the fluid residue brush was rinsed in between each patch again to ensure no cross contamination on the second test we did six pulls of the trigger sprayer straight 30 seconds agitation and one stroke of the wet vac and again brush was rinsed in between so the test results of the carpet soiling test uh, we'll just go through now. In third place was AutoSmart's G101. In second place was Crystal Clean Details Air Clean. And finally the winner of that test was again Built Hammer Surfex HD. Now, just a few points I do want to make. Um, with all of these tests, um, I try to keep it as fair as possible uh, regarding the amount of soiling um, on each patch of the carpet and also the amount of products that was applied to each patch. Uh, same with the tyres. Now, I understand that the front tyres will have been more heavily soiled than the rear tyres. Obviously, this wasn't, you know, a laboratory test. I did try to keep it as fair as possible, though, with the facilities that I did have available. Okay, so before we get to the results, you know, the overall top three, uh, just a few notes that I'd like to discuss. Now, I know suds and foam do not equal cleaning power. Um, you know, I, I do understand that. Uh, but if you like me, uh, just like with um, my car shampoos, I do like to see suds and foam on the surface uh, that I'm cleaning uh, with these products. It just, you know, makes it a bit more exciting. Uh, some people aren't bothered, you know, they just think they're making up a solution and they trust that even with no suds or foam that they can physically see um, the products are doing their job. But I did notice in this test that the Koch Kemi Green Star uh, G Technic W2 and the Built Hammer Surfex HD hardly foamed up at all, um, even when agitating them, uh, depending on which soiling it was, didn't really make a difference. Um, whereas the W5, which is a citrus based cleaner, and especially the uh, KKD A Clean, uh, really did foam up, uh, you know, but obviously. We're not testing it on the foaming capability, we are just focusing on cleaning power. Okay, so finally to the fun part, which is the top three overall winners. In third place, we have AutoSmart G101. This particular product just cleaned uh, everything we threw at it you know really well uh, did the job also at a very fair price now g101 and auto smart products are quite trade related um, as you can only get them in uh, large quantities such as five liters and above 
in second place we have crystal clean detail a clean just edges the g101 um, not only in terms of cleaning power but also because it is easier to get a hold of and you can of course buy them uh, buy this in smaller quantities such as you know a litre or 500 milliliters forms up really well like the best of all of these products um, so you can you can see it uh, on the surface of whatever you're cleaning um, you know rinse off really lovely as well leaves no kind of sticky residue uh, or anything like that behind non-caustic so just an all-around great product and i really do love using this okay now to announce the winner of the best all-purpose cleaner this product is quite simply brilliant it cleaned everything we threw at it you know it didn't didn't flag in any of the tests so the winner of the best all-purpose cleaner is built hammer surfex hd as i say just a cracking product and i just cannot fault it it doesn't smell as offensive as some of the other ones um, so you think it isn't going to be as potent um, you know because even knee um, some of them really get you know on the back of your throat and your chest um, but this one it were uh, just didn't have that problem um, unless my nostrils are just knackered because I've been around chemicals all my life um, but um, I don't think this is as offensive as some of the other products so just a cracking product um, so that is the winner of the best all-purpose cleaner okay so I have just got some final notes um, jotted down that I do want to go through um, because Surfex HD is actually classed as on the label a degreaser now none of the other products claim to be degreasers um, they say more universal or all-purpose cleaners but they do say that they are effective on um, you know a range of soiling such as you know general grime grease oil and things like that so what i wanted to do was just pick a few brands uh, quite popular brands and uh, this is the list of products we uh, come up with uh, when we looked into all-purpose cleaners obviously all of these brands do offer a range of products like even the uh, second place um a clean the kkd do a uh, like a heavy duty grime remover which might have been better on um, the soiling that it struggled on so if we kind of come away from all the you know the kind of lab tests and the really kind of in-depth stuff um obviously i don't know if some of you realize i do this professionally um so i have been using these pretty much every day now um as you can see i've got them all diluted here and you know i'll reach for them all because they have all got their strengths um like Koch chemi green star does say you can use it as a pre-wash whereas the others uh, don't really say that um so that as a pre-wash is a really potent and strong product and i do really like that um so like I said, even though it didn't come in the top three, I'm not saying that that was just a crap product because it isn't. Um, even the, you know, W5, the citrus all-purpose cleaner, um, got a really lovely smell, you know, it just, it's kind of a fresh scent. So it's it's a pleasure to use, you know, you're not choking when, you, when you're using it. So again, might not have come in the top three, but always reach for it. Just all of the products uh, I will use until, you know, I've run out. Um, it's just that the built hammer uh, across the board just did the best out of all of them if we were going to you know just pure cleaning power on a range of soiling okay and that wraps it up so thank you very much for watching um, i thought i'd try something a bit different you know i thought i'd go really in depth with this one and uh, play a bit of science um, so please let me know in the comments what you did think to it because um, these videos do take a lot more time you know and thought and you have to really think about what you're doing um, you know giving you a fair test on all of the products but kind of like a shootout really just seeing which was the best um, cleaner uh, you know all-purpose cleaner 
Um, so it's great to hear from you. Um, if you do like this format of videos or if you would just prefer quick and snappy ones, you know, that you can watch in two minutes and that's it, you go and have, uh, go and have your dinner or whatever. So, um, as I say, hope you have enjoyed this video and I shall see you in the next one. Take care, guys. Cheers.